Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at how we can find out the empirical formula from, from given experimental data. So I've got a question here. When an unknown hydrocarbon is burnt in excess oxygen, and I put excess in red here, which because because it says excess oxygen, this basically means that the limiting the thing that's going to be the limiting um, reactant in the reaction is the hydrocarbon, and this means that the hydrocarbon is going to burn completely. So all of the carbon dioxide and all of the water are, are are produced from all of the hydrocarbon burning so we can so from that we can we can do deduce that whatever we calculate of that hydrocarbon is the amount burnt there's no none left that isn't burnt okay when an unknown hydrocarbon is burned in excess oxygen 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide and 1.8 grams of water are made what is the empirical formula of the unknown hydrocarbon okay now the first thing we notice here is that this is similar to one of those questions where we're trying to figure out the number of moles from the the mass and molar mass and we have the mass and we implicitly have the molar mass here and why do i say we have the molar mass implicitly because we know that it's carbon dioxide and we know that it's water and carbon dioxide has the formula let me let me increase my pen size here carbon dioxide has the formula co2 and that's a bit big CO2 and oxygen has the formula O2 well actually we don't need the formula for oxygen and water has the formula um, H2O H2O so what we can do here is find out the, the mole the number of moles of CO2 and the number of moles of H2O which are produced from this reaction and the way we can figure this out is using the equation more number of moles equals the mass which is represented by small m divided by molar mass which is um big m and so the molar mass we need to find out the molar mass of these two molecules before we can proceed so these two molecules so the molar mass of co2 CO2 is uh, 12. 12 is the relative atomic mass of carbon plus 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass of oxygen which is 16 and that gives us 12 well 12 plus 32 which is 44 I think yeah 44 the molar mass of carbon dioxide is therefore 44 we can do the same for H2O. We know that the the well to find out the the molar mass of H2O, we add the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, which is going to be multiplied by two. So two times one should be one point but I'll just leave as one plus sixteen, and that would give us eighteen. So we know that the the ma the molar mass of H2O is eighteen, and the molar mass of carbon dioxide is forty four. And now we can use both of these values being the molar mass masses the molar masses we can use it in this equation by rearranging that wait well actually actually no no, no. we don't need to rearrange that but we can use these in this equation we can use these two values in this equation to find the number of moles okay so let's let's figure out the number of moles here so the moles of co2 moles of co2 is going to be let's see 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide so it's going to be 4.4 divided by 44 4.4 divided by 44 i suspect this is yet yeah, 0.1 so the moles the moles of co2 is equal to 0.1 now to find the moles of h2o what we do is get the the 
the molar mass of H2O and we divide that by the mass of H2O. So no 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 no. We 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 get the mass sorry, we get the mass of H2O and we divide that by the molar mass of H2O. So 1.8 divided by 18. And that's gonna be the same answer here. So it's gonna be 0 0.1 and since that's in moles both of those gonna have mole mole here okay so what's the next thing we do we found out the moles of both of them we, we know that is 0 0.1 now we need to find out the ratio of moles and 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 this ratio would be of each of the the elements so okay we've got 0 0.1 moles of CO2 and 0 0.1 moles of H2O that means we've got 0 0.1 moles of carbon and we have let's see hydrogen hydrogen Yeah, 0 0.1 moles of carbon. Um, of oxygen, we we're gonna have since this is two, and the whole thing all together is one. We're gonna have 0 0.2 moles of oxygen atoms, not oxygen molecules, but uh, oxygen atoms. We're gonna have 0 0.2 moles of that. And with H2O, of hydrogen here, we're going to have um, two moles supplied by the moles of hydrogen, so that's gonna be 0 0.2. And the moles of oxygen is gonna be 0.1 so here we've got two different quantities for moles of oxygen we can just add these together since this is the same element this is going to give us 0 0.3 so now we know that the ratio is for carbon hydrogen and oxygen is 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 now we know that all of this is a hydrocarbon it doesn't actually have any it doesn't have any oxygen in it so we can basically get rid of this oxygen here because this isn't actually part of the molecule and since this, this is from the excess oxygen so and what we do here is we divide now we've got a ratio here we've basically got a ratio of one, 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 if we want to make this a whole number if we want to make this a whole number if we were to divide to divide both of them by 0 0.2 we probably wouldn't get a whole number 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.2 gives us a number which isn't a whole number and the reason for this is that 0 0.2 is not the smallest decimal here if we were to divide it by the smallest decimal we'd probably get whole number ratios so what i'm going to do here is divide both of these these values by the smallest number the smallest of these two fractions of these of these two decimals and if i divide 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 i'm going to get one and if i divide 0 0.2 by 0 0.1 i'm going to get two so the ratio is one to two and therefore the empirical formula of this unknown hydrocarbon which we now sort of know a little bit about the empirical formula anyway is ch2 and that's basically it so this is going to be the empirical formula of this molecule ch2